Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, your instructor, Aisha Iqbal Vishmohan. Uh, welcome to the course and uh, welcome to today's live session. So um, I, uh, your questions are there in front of me. Without much ado, I will start. So um, <laughs> here we are meeting for uh, our course. Um, uh, literary theory and literary criticism. So um, we have uh, 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 Sabdar uh, Hussain, one uh, unit assignment ideas. Uh, so, uh, Sabdar, you have to uh, please uh, elaborate. What do you want me to tell you? I don't understand. Unit one assignment ideas, but what's the question? Uh, I'll move on to the second question. Does this uh, course ha um, have any prescribed textbook or reference material? Yes, uh, I think in the middle of the course or one of the lectures, I do say that uh, literary theory and criticism. Now, um, there are several standard books of literary theory. Now, uh, it all depends on, you know, since, uh, one ideal book would be by Patricia. Wog, Patricia Wog, uh, W A U G H. In the middle of the course, I do mention the title, but it doesn't matter if uh, you have uh, you missed it. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, I would suggest that you go through because it is more uh, Patricia Wog's book is more updated, although there are several standard books. So uh, it doesn't really matter whatever is uh, uh, your taste. <laughs> I mean, or whatever, you know, um, the level of difficulty you're looking for, you can perhaps look at it. And uh, uh, it. Uh, 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 so th that's what I want to suggest that, uh, of course, many of you have been asking for uh, re uh, reference books. I will definitely suggest. Um, uh, see, one uh, uh, not so old, but very, uh, uh, but not very recent also. Uh, Literary Theory and Introduction by Terry Eagleton. So this book also I mentioned somewhere during the uh, course. And then, of course, uh, many of you who have done uh, uh, MAs in literature, you would know Literary Theory, a very short introduction by Jonathan Culler. C U L L E R. Um, so there are several books. So Terry Eagleton's Literary Theory, Patricia Walks, uh, Literary Theory and Critic Criticism, Literary Theory, a very short introduction by Jonathan Culler. See, you cannot, uh, for this uh, uh, very introductory kind of a course, you cannot read everything, right? So these are uh, just three or four standard books that I can mention. After that, it's up to, as I mentioned, that uh, how, uh, what is your level of complexity, uh, what exactly you're looking for, um, uh, and what, are, what is your previous background in this uh, uh, discipline. It depends on that. Uh, how to interact with other. Uh, if you mean how to interact with uh, uh, other people, uh, there is a discussion forum. Okay, you can send your mails there or you can send your comments there. So how to interact with others. But then this, this being an online course, you can uh, always, uh, uh, um, uh, there, is, there, is, there, are li there is a limited uh, possibility of uh, having face-to-face -face interaction here. However, if you want uh, uh, more interaction, then uh, perhaps you can send mails to the discussion group. And then uh, we will, after today, we will have two more live sessions like this. So this is Yak Yakash. Okay. Uh, Himal is asking. Okay, thank you. I get uh, oh, confused with overlapping point. Don't worry, Hima Himal. Uh, this happens to everyone and there is a lot of overlap. So, uh, <laughs> you know, structuralism and post-structuralism and modernism and post-modernism, there is so much of overlap uh, that... Uh, um, unless and until you are extremely comfortable and you have been doing it for a very long time, uh, it is, uh, you know, there will always be an overlap. So nothing to worry about. Uh, the major thing is that you should know who are the critics and theorists of each, uh, uh, each period. 
okay, and each theory. So you should know, for example, Terry Gilton is associated with Marxism. And then how Marxism is uh, associated with perhaps, you know, post-structuralism. Okay, so for, uh, like this, you can uh, make, maybe, you know, draw a chart. When I was uh, um, in my, uh, uh, you know, early stages of my PhD and when I was, when we were introduced to all these major theories and criticism. So at that point, I had drawn a chart where I would write the period, you know, age-wise. Then I would write, ma mention the uh, major theorists and critics, their major works, and then what are the major bullet, I mean, you know, uh, ideas for um, concerning each theorist. So I would make, write some bullet points, etc. And then after that, it will become easier. Um, uh, Himal is asking, thesis, oh, 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 oh. Himal, this is not really a course for a session for thesis. Um, can I include different types of criticisms as chapters? You have to talk to your guide about it because, um, see, I am not... Uh, uh, I'm not familiar with what exactly you are doing. So it is better that you take your supervisor's uh, guidance. Uh, yes, Nara and I will talk about exam and the certificate. I'll come to it. Please don't jump the queue. We are still very, you know, way ahead. I mean, it's still way uh, um, far, far away from your exams and your certification. So, Dhananjay, uh, Will there be debate sessions on the literature? No, not really. Not really. Uh, will there be debate sessions on the literary theories at the weekend? Not really. Okay, it is, uh, see, if it were a face-to-face -face course, yes, it is possible. Uh, uh, the uh, basic idea of offering a course like this was that to give you an introduction to major theories and literary theories and uh, schools of criticism. Yes, Neha, I have just mentioned Patricia Wog. Patricia Wog will have queer theory as well. Uh, Terry Eagleton, literary theory uh, uh, and criticism and Patricia Wog, lit literary theory and criticism. Uh, Terry Eagleton, uh, literary theory and literary theory and introduction by Jonathan Culler. Okay, for queer theory, uh, oh, you are preparing for your PhD, so I think it is better that you uh, get in touch with your potential supervisor because uh, I'm not too sure what kind of queer theory uh, or uh, queer theory, right? Sorry, you are using or what are your texts and all. So it is important that you perhaps get in touch with your supervisor. And so I don't want to confuse you. Mohit, please recommend a, a good book for deconstruction. Um, okay, see, uh, <clears throat> if you want to uh, look at, uh, uh, you know, explanatory uh, kind of, a, you know, introductory and explanatory kind of a book, uh, it is a, a deconstruction theory and practice. It's by Christopher Norris. This is a standard book. Deconstruction Theory and Practice by Christopher Norris. It's a very good book, accessible, and uh, um, you will understand whatever. And it is also um, uh, not all that old. So, uh, uh, originally published in 90. 1980s, but then it doesn't matter. There are other edition, updated editions also. And if I remember correct, uh, correctly, then I think it was uh, published by Routledge. So I think publishers also matter. So uh, it's a uh, it's a good book. Okay, what is the next question? Mm, deconstruction assignment no in between i talk about assignments then later on i was told that uh, these assignments should not be used for uh, uh, your uh, assessment or evaluation so you don't have to submit anything to me which i 
mention in that uh, during uh, my lectures during the course of my lectures those assignments you can uh, just uh, solve uh, for your own benefit for your own understanding of the subject um, however assignments which are uploaded by nptel's uh, official website those are the things that you have to submit periodically for assessment so um, please talk about the exam and the certificate i am coming to that now exam uh, uh, first let's talk about assignments assignments are all mcqs please note it down assignments are all mcqs and semester is also mcq so please get this very clear right at the beginning assignments as well as uh, and some are mcq types that means no descriptive essays for you for this course that is one thing then uh, to uh, get your certificate you will have to submit the assignment so don't think that you will just ignore the assignments and come only for the ensem or do only assignments and uh, skip the ensem all together and then get something out of 50 and that's about it that's not the way it's going to happen and pitel has its own way of calculating your marks and percentage etc i am not involved with the calculation but the guidelines are very clear you have to appear for you have to submit all your assignments online not to me but online as is stipulated by the NPTEL uh, guidelines and the uh, whatever are the instructions given on the website. You know all that. You know the drill. Um, so, uh, if, you, uh, if you pass the or you miss the deadline for assignment, then please note, uh, note this down very clearly. There is no second chance. NPTEL is very strict about this so even if you write to me 10 times i won't be able to help you if you miss an assignment submission then it's gone then your marks will be calculated without that particular assignment so that itself tells you how important a submission of assignment is for you don't miss submissions and uh, according to the deadline so that is one thing mcq types assignments submission is mandatory Sub submission after the deadline won't be accepted please get these things very clear after that no matter who you write to or how many times you write to it's not going to help you all right that is that clears your uh, queries about assignment. Then end semester. End semester, NPTEL is going to announce the dates. Once the dates are announced and your registration, etc., happens, then you will be uh, given your hall tickets and all. NPTEL is, uh, uh, you know, they are uh, they have a very smooth machinery that is running uh, all these things. So don't worry about those things you will get all the information that you need. So you don't have to get in touch with me about the date and venue of your exams. NPTEL is going to give you all the information that is uh, that you need. And so appear for the exam as per the schedule. And then there will be some sort, there is a mechanism where your uh, marks will be calculated on the basis of submitted assignments, and your end semester exam and then after that you will be given your marks and your uh, uh, percentage and as well as your certification so i hope that's clear appearing for end semester is mandatory submission of NPTEL assignments is mandatory Yes, yes. So that's what I told you. NPTEL people have their own uh, style of doing the calculation. I would suggest 
submit all the assignments and let uh, you know whatever is the best assignment so if the page says six out of eight then fine go with it but don't miss out on your assignments six best that doesn't mean that you don't submit okay so it's not a choice you submit everything and out of that six best will be taken All right, Shurit. So you have uh, Narayan. Okay. I have uh, joined this course as pre-PhD work. Yeah, good. I think it uh, 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 as part of your pre-PhD course work, it will be uh, quite useful to you. Good.
so this is just our first meeting and I am sure that you have uh, joined uh, the course uh, only now. Uh, so watch a couple of videos. Start submitting the assignments. Be regular and punctual uh, about submission of assignments. All of them are MCQ types, but do not take them lightly because uh, uh, the level of complexity will increase. Uh, and also remember that uh, by end semester, by the time you reach your end semester, uh, it's going to be quite, uh, you know, the level of difficulty is quite uh, uh, high. So don't take it easy. Uh, don't uh, consider that it will be, you know, just uh, something that will be very easy for you to uh, clear unless and until you're consistent and consistent in watching videos and also submitting assignments. Um, it's not going to be such a cakewalk. So please be very careful about that. This is a one friendly advice I wanted to give you at the very beginning of the course. So we will be meeting um, uh, once in August, maybe uh, after 15th August and then uh, once in September. So uh, before your end semester, we will have another uh, two more meetings. By that time, I am sure that you will uh, you will get a good uh, feel of the course. So next time when we meet, you can ask me more questions. So thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Karthik, can we wind up now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining and see you after 15th August. We'll have another live session.